Okay, Lisa, here's an exercise where I'm going to animate the mask path attribute. So let me just write some notes on here. Okay, just like any kind of animation program, After Effects does have your typical transform attributes. which are position, rotation, and scale. The mask path attribute is a way to control the shape of the mask. Okay, so in this exercise, we'll be changing the shape of a mask from a heart to a square. And then we're also going to uh, keyframe the color. Right, so these are the two main bullet points. All right, I'll refer back to this list after I get started. So using the new composition button, I'm making a new composition that's three seconds long. And I want to start by creating a new solid. That's just like creating a new layer in Photoshop or another compositing program. In After Effects, we create new solids. Okay, in the future, I would just use Command Y to create a new solid. And I'll just choose a blue solid, that's fine. Using the pen tool, which is uh, the shortcut G, I'm just gonna quickly Click some sharp points here. And then of course, when you hold down option, you can add some Bezier handles. I'm gonna hit the letter M to see my mask attributes. If you, if you hit M twice, if you double click M, you can see more attributes, but really the only attribute we care about right now is just mask path. So I'm just gonna click M once, and I'll rename this mask by hitting return. And I'd like to have the heart start changing, maybe like not right away. So I'm just gonna move to one second and keyframe the mask path attribute. You know, then maybe 10 frames ahead this is where I start to change the shape. Since all my mask points are selected right now, I'm gonna activate my selection tool. I could just hit the letter V. Um, I'll click off the mask, back on individual points, and I'm just adjusting the position of these points. Okay, using my pen tool, I'll take away Bezier handles. Okay, looks like my mask is animated. Now it's time to animate the color of the, the mask changing. Okay, look at how I'm lining my timeline up with the first keyframe. Okay, that way I can remember that this is where the mask shape starts to change and I can sync up my color with the mask changing. Okay, while I've got this blue solid selected, I'm gonna to go to the effect menu and there's a sub menu called generate. I'll choose the fill effect. Okay, it's red. And I'll just keyframe the color here. All right, now remember, you can also keyframe attributes in the composition window. I would just have to expand this effects menu, expand fill. And there's my, my key, there's my keyframe for the color attribute. Move forward here, line it up with the 
with the square keyframe. And maybe I'll just change this color to green. Okay, I'll hit spacebar to play. And there's my, my color changing there. Okay, look at how much space there is. Look at how much distance and time I have to wait until this whole entire animation starts over. I mean, it is, it's three seconds long, but my animation lasts only 10 frames. I just wanna point out that I can shrink my work area by dragging this blue line here. And now I don't have to wait as long when I'm watching my animation. Okay, the start time's earlier and the end time is later. This is called the work area. And now it's, it's changing faster. It's repeating faster. And of course I could also loop my animation, copy and paste, copy and paste. And now I've got a perfect loop. Okay, I hope this exercise helps you practice and see you next time.